Okay, so now we have our box built, squared all the way around, and our little lip on the bottom for screwing it into the roof. Now, here's something else that I've added to it. It's so much easier to add it here than up on the roof. This is the safeguard trap system, uh, modular trap system. This here has a one-way door inside that leads out. And what we'll do is, when we get up there, we'll attach this trap onto here so that it po it's uh, set as a positive trapping system. When the animals come out, they'll be caught in here. If we need to reservice, we can take these off and put more back on again, uh, empty ones. So this is the system that we're going to be using for trapping on this house. Now let's go up on the roof and install this. Here's our ventilator cover. Now before we do anything with this, uh, I had already taken this lid off. I want to make sure that you understand that you, this interior screening trash must come out. You don't want this in the blades anywhere <coughs> where the uh, it could get jammed up. This was already jammed into the blades. The squirrel just pushed this down in there, so we want to make sure that this garbage is not in there anymore. And that the blades rotate freely. We spin it and it's not hitting anything. Okay. Uh, another thing is I always have on our contracts a disclaimer that an electrician should look at this uh, before it's ever turned back on again to make sure it's okay. And it's really easy to take our cover off um, and then he can put it back on again the same way. He'll see how we put it on and he should be able to do it the same way and put it back on again. Uh, this motor here and this one here looks pretty shot. It probably needs to be replaced. But they'll have a paperwork on. Our paperwork will tell them that this uh, may be dangerous. You know? Now, our job, though, is to worry about getting that squirrel out. So here's our cover. Simply put our cover over the top. And what we're going to do is we're going to use what I call setups. It's a fender washer and a screw. And we're going to put them on each corner and in the center all the way around. Once they're in, we'll silicone them down. Here we go, we're using a cordless drill. And we're just going to place them into each corner. And secure this all down. And then also in the centers. And we're going to make sure we get this secured all the way around. All right, now I'm going to put some silicone over those washers, get around those edges, and also right over the top of the head of the screw, like so. Make sure that we push that down so it makes connection with the roof. And it doesn't have to be a lot. That screw itself acts as a cork when it goes through the shingles and through the roof tar itself. Never ever had a leak, but just in case, you know, there's always a first. We always add a little bit of silicone right on there as well. Make sure that you know, water will find a way in through the smallest places. This is a very safe way of attaching things to this. There's no problem putting a screw through this. Okay, we'll make sure we get every one of these done. Okay. Now we're going to attach the tube trap to the cone. So put that in there nice. We use a couple of zip ties. I'll make sure we hold that in place well. Making sure that we're not interfering with the mechanism of the door, which right here we're not. And we'll just put a couple of these on. Make sure this is not going to get pushed off. Just cut those edges down a little bit. Like so. There we go. Now, for a little added extra security, attach a piece of bailing wire. Really simply just attach it to the, to the unit there, or you can even run another screw into the roof and attach it to that. This is to make absolutely positive that the squirrels did not uh, chew any of the holdings, these uh, zip ties together, whatever, and that this could slip and fall off the roof. So we're nice and secure. Uh, now this needs to be checked, of course, um, within 24 hours to see if there's any animals in there. Okay, and last but not least, we want to have some regular traps up here on the roof as well. If you notice, I have a piece of metal underneath them. That's to protect the roof. Um, keeps any of the uh, liquid or solid matters that come from the squirrel from getting on the roof and staining them. Uh, if you don't use that, you're going to get a rectangular square stain on the roof that will probably be there forever. The other thing they can do is reach out and scratch through that screen and actually destroy the shingles. So we want to protect them. Again, very simply, just a screw, 
use a piece of bailing wire to hold the trap in place. The security and one never fall off the roof with these. And again, these can be replaced. Once you catch one, the good idea is to take one of the other traps and put it on the dirty spot. Uh, that odor there will attract the rest of that family to use that trap uh, rather quickly. So we have our setup here. We have our setup on the attic fan ventilator. And we're good to go. And we'll be back tomorrow to see what kind of captures we have here. Okay, here we are for day two. And we have our squirrel captured right here. I'm going to take a look at her belly. And it appears to be a female, but it's not nursing. So that's good news. I mean, she's uh, going to get pregnant someday, but not at this house. So, now, if you see all the, the spot, there's all this nest that's here on this uh, on the pan that we put down. You know, that's not all over the roof, which is nice. So we can just sweep that up and clean it up. Uh, this job basically is done. Uh, this is the female that ran out yesterday before we put the lid on. And uh, there's just the one. There's nothing in the tube trap, which is down there. So we can see that that's empty. Uh, there would have been something in there by today, and there's not. So I can feel confident in removing all of this equipment. And this job is over and done with, and we have a very happy customer. Okay, let's clean this job up. Take off the pan. Okay, and those little screw holes, now that we pulled the screws out, just put a dab of silicone right on those. and give it a push right down inside the hole. Like that, all the way down inside. So never ever have another water leak. Or a possible water leak ever. Okay, now we've done that part. Let's take off this tube over here and we'll clean this up too. Okay, last thing we have to do is cover the hole that we had for where the tube trap was. And simply we're just gonna place in another piece of screen and we're just gonna use some bailing wire hooked up in through here, tie it all off and this job is done.